Now, some may feel it's too early to be thinking about this year's Christmas number one, but not us. Yeah, a chart-topping hit from almost 30 years ago is aiming for to be number one again. So, Winifred School Choir from Stockport rose to fame in 1980. You must remember this, knocking John Lennon off the top spot with their hit, There's No One Quite Like Grandma. You've done the moonwalk. I'm just waiting for John to burst into song on this one. Well, the original choir members are reforming to help raise money for help the aged and age concern. Here's a little clip just for anyone out there who hasn't had it buzzing round their brain for the last 20 years. Well, Tara Danes is one of the original choir members and joins us now. And Tara, what a wonderful cause and what a truly dreadful song. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to say it because I'm sorry. <laughs> No, that's true, but I think that's actually great that it was such a, as you said, a terrible song, because that's really kept it alive in the nation's memory. There's people <laughs> I know... Do you agree, do you? Oh, I know, I, I, I really <laughs> couldn't argue with that, to be fair. But I know people that weren't even alive when Grandma was out, and yet you mention it, and they know it, and they can sing it, and they've seen clips of it. And I think if it didn't have that notoriety, it wouldn't be as well known as it is. So I think it's up there with the Orville song. Did you, it? did you see yourself in that video? I did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wish we were. Okay, okay. You'll we'll have to show us later on. Where, I mean, was it? Was it fun doing it at the time? I mean, it must have been extraordinary. Hugely. It was. I mean, we never lost sight of the fact that for the age that we were, we were having opportunities that really no other school children were going to have. Sorry, come on, tell us. So. Did it change your life? <laughs> um, it did at the time. Uh, whether things would have been any different going forwards, I really don't know. Um, but at the time, it was just absolutely amazing. Obviously, we were meeting famous people. We were going to places we wouldn't have been to otherwise. So you see inside TV studios. It was great. And we really did love singing. We did an awful lot of it. We had several other records out, albums, other singles. So, you know, we weren't you, a one-trick pony. John Lennon off. Um, we did. I mean, God love him. Um, but, <laughs> well, I was going to say, some, I was going to do the joke that someone else knocked on no, okay, no. right. I, I, I didn't want to say that. I'm glad you said that. Right. Yeah. But from, you know, in terms of, in terms of, you know, kind of musical moment, you got rid of a Beatle to put Grandma at the top of the chart. We did. I'm sure some people have probably never forgiven us for that, actually. But uh, <laughs> and for plenty more time. <laughs> <laughs> so what, um, tell us about this time. I hope you're going to don the old pink frocks with the collars again. I and also, I think, little, I think you'd look nice in little pink ringlets as well. <laughs> uh, I think I've probably done those things, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to be filming the video and the single next week, and apparently they have actually got pink cardigans for us to wear uh, for nostalgia purposes, so that'll be interesting. And is it going to have a sort of, you know, new funky overtones for our age, or would that just spoil the whole thing? <laughs> a 12-inch scratch remix version. <laughs> um, <laughs> as a matter of fact, no, when we did the rehearsals for it last week, they did actually have the same backing track that we had at the time, and it's amazing how how it all came flooding back. We still knew the words, we still knew the harmonies. It was fantastic, really. Do you know what? Help the aged. Uh, we'll be truly grateful. It is a great... For, for their thing. sake, we will, we will yeah. stick through it. Yeah, it's a <laughs> big Nick campaign for Innocent Smoothies, raising money for a fantastic cause. Fantastic. So there was no way we could say no to Okay, it. Emily's now going to go off for her impartiality <laughs> reprogramming. Uh, I'm going to go off and practice I the moonwalk and dance here with the weather. <laughs>